What's up, Roughnecks? This is Pwn Source Rex, and here we are with the Chem Station. We're going to discuss what skills you need, or schematic, to build the Chem Station, what materials you need to build the, the Chem Station, where to find those materials, or craft those materials, and if we're lucky, where to find a Chem Station on the first day. So, here is the chem station but let's look in our skills skills under intelligence right here at yeah science level one yeah science will give you the ability to make a station now you do need level four intelligence so you're gonna have to upgrade this three times one two three and then the yeah science one so that's four points which I guess you could do right after the tutorial with your free points if you really wanted to. Um, so that's really not that difficult to get. So, that being said, once you have it unlocked, either by schematic or by skill, this is what you need to build it. You need 40 wood, one beaker, three cooking pots, one burning barrel, 15 short iron pipe, and a workbench. Uh, because you build it in the workbench, and then you get your chemistry station. Okay, so, t cooking pots can be found around pretty decent. Wood is every tree. The burning barrel you have to craft in the workbench using three forged iron, ten wood, and you get a burning barrel. Um, short iron pipe can be also made in the forge using twelve iron, six clay soil, and you can get a short iron pipe, so that's pretty easy. Now, the cooking pot can also be made in the forge with thirty-one iron and six clay soil and that's pretty easy. Iron is, you, you should never run out of iron, and clay soil is, you should never run out of that either. So that's pretty much a given. Now the beaker is the hardest part of this entire thing to find. I mean, I've done playthroughs, entire playthroughs, and never even found one. Um, I have no advice on where to find it. Other than in medical boxes, uh, medical shelves, anything medical related and kitchen. Sometimes you can find it in the kitchen. I don't know. Anyway, you can't craft one of those. You gotta find it. So that's the hardest part of the whole thing. But once you have it, and here it is, you can make all this stuff with it. Now, the thing that, the real reason you're gonna want this station is for the stacks of gas cans and stacks of gunpowder. That's what you're going to do with it. You're going to be making gas and gunpowder uh, because those are things you're going to be needing a lot. Now, antibiotics are a bonus and first aid kits are bonuses as well. Um, but yeah, the real reason is like the gunpowder. You're just pumping out. It makes cheaper gunpowder. One in one. Whereas if you were to just make it in your inventory, it is two and two. So it cuts the cost in half, which is amazing because later nitrate powder and coal, like you're thinking you're throwing nitrate powder away because you're finding so much of it. Later on, it's not so easy. Um, once you really need the gunpowder and you really need the nitrate powder and the coal, it, you know, gathering it, it just takes too long. So anyway, that is what you're going to want the chem station for and that's how to build it and all that now let's take a look at this traders right here so I was lucky enough to find a trader that had all of the crafting boxes working which is crazy because sometimes it's broken so if you get really lucky you can come into a trader and have it working let's actually take a look at some other traders as well so here's another trader who this one has a working chem station as well, but the cement mixer is broken, and the forge is broken, and the workbench is broken. That is what happens more often than not. Um, so you're kind of stuck at the mercy of the game, telling you what you can use. Look, here's the cement mixer, the workbench, but the forge is broken. Um, and the the chem station works too, so, but you don't have a forge, which makes life difficult. Uh, so you'd have to make a forge. So that's not too bad, actually, because a forge is one of the first things you can make. But let's go up here to the 
trader up here and take a look at him real quick. Now this one is a pain in the butt because the chem station is way down in the basement and it's destroyed. The forge is up here and the workbench is over here and the mixer's here. So the mixer and the chem station are broken in this one. All right, so at any rate, let's go back to where we were. And look at the chem station one more time. And so that is what you can do, Roughnecks. You can find, you can always find one on the first day at a trader's. Um, if you're lucky, it won't be broken. And that's how you can do it. Because this one, you have to find that beaker. But other than that, everything else is pretty easy to, to gain to make this. And uh, you're going to need it for the gunpowder and the gas. So, that being said... Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you that watch. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you uh, like the video, think about subscribing to the channel. I uh, I, I could really use uh, as many Roughnecks as I can get. And uh, it'd be great to have you. Um, there's also, for any diehard re uh, Roughnecks that want to take the leap, uh, down below is the Patreon page. And that would help. And all the, all the proceeds from that would go directly to the channel. Um, so that all being said, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if I don't see you in the comments, I'll see you in the next video.